Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into this video, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below what you think. And if you really like this video, give me a big thumbs up. They really do help my channel to get that get out there into the algorithm. So yeah, if you could do those things, I'd really appreciate it. So latest hair brain idea of mine is I have brought I've had this for a while now and I was it's basically a tea you know a tea tea coffee tin thing I bought from Poundland and I was looking through the free cross stitch border pan and I came across a kitty cat I have two cats so I was thinking why not make a treat uh treat tin for their treats because at the moment I just keep them in the bags in a box very boring and my brother has a cat and my neighbor has a cat so I thought I could make them one too so yeah but I only have two tins here but I got it from Poundland so it was only a quid bargain absolute bargain for a tin so obviously this tin is we've got to treat it slightly different than a tin you put on top so obviously we can only go up to this rim otherwise we won't be able to put the lid on if we're doing it that way either so but yeah i'm excited to do something different i really am so yeah i'm looking forward to doing my cats a treat tin so yeah right items we need for this obviously we need a tray in that we need some colours. I've tried to pick out colours I've got loads of. We need a double sided tape. I bought my double sided, apart from this one, that one was like three quid from Tesco, so it's quite expensive. Because um, obviously it's the sellotape brands, and then obviously branded stuff is more expensive. But I've got my double sided tape from Amazon, and it's all covered in cat hair, the Droid Zone cats, for about £8 for roughly 16 rolls. So yeah, that was a proper bargain. And they all come in different sizes. I can show you if you want. Ta-da. So as you can see, they're all different sizes. And you get quite a bit on each roll. So, and I like the fact they're all different sizes because like I also, for example, do my doll's houses behind me. Um, I've never recorded a video on them. I don't know if anyone would be interested in that, to be honest. But I also make my little DIY dolls hats. I've got one kit waiting for me to do. That my sister bought me for my birthday. And for some things like, for example, the pillows, you've got to make little tiny pillows. And instead of trying to use glue and like put sofas together in that, for some like putting the fabric on the sofa, I use double side tape. And um, especially for like the little pillows, that is ideal because it's nice and thin. So yeah, that's what I use my double side tape for. So I always have uses for it. And then we need PVA glue. So yeah, that's basically everything we need to get us decorating them a tin. So yeah, we could just do this like this, but I think it'd be a bit more personal. And I've, I've got to give my neighbor one. I think I'll just give my neighbor the first one, to be honest. And yeah, I think she'd be thrilled with it. So this is the one that bought asked me to do the custom for her boss's um her son's boss. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. And my neighbour is absolutely wonderful. And yeah, she she's a fantastic neighbour as far as neighbours go. If I when I ever do go on holiday, she will look after the cats for me. So I always bring her stuff back from holiday and everything. So yeah she's she's a wonderful neighbor and especially because i've got a epileptic my younger cat she's epileptic and she has to have medication twice a day which like my mum would look after the cats it wouldn't bother her at all but this pure fat of giving medication she's terrified she's gonna hurt her and my mum she had a cat when i was little but she hasn't had cats ever since and it's not like having a dog a dog you can just go like um my mum my my labradors live with my mum 
basically uh, cut a long story short, I split up with an ex and took dogs with me and they were too settled there for when I left my mum's to come with me and they're too settled and everything, they're happy, they're, they're more than happy there. And it's not like when you have a dog, you know, you get a bit of dairy lead cheese or a bit of sausage or something, stick it inside and get the medication and go, here you go, and the dog just does it. Cats are awkward and the amount of scratches I've had from my younger cat and everything, so that just, it worries her having to do, do that, so yeah. But my uh, my my neighbour, she's fantastic. She'll look after them for me and everything. Get make sure Samara gets her medication and everything every day. So, yeah, I. She really is a good cat. Well, she's not a good cat. But my neighbour, <laughs> she really is a good neighbour. Oh, Gemma. Right. So yeah, let's get cracking and get decorating as well. I'm really looking forward to it. Right, so you must be wondering why the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got like a bit of tape at the edges. It's just so I know I don't go out of frame, basically. Yeah, so for I did for um, patterns, basically, because I know some people get a bit of a brain block for ideas to do for borders and everything else. Sometimes I just make, make do loads of triangles and stuff like that, pretty boring stuff. And, but if you Google... Uh, cross stitch border pattern you can get some pretty basic you get some really fancy ones too but you can get some really nice border style patterns to and you, all you have to do is just basically just copy it basically onto your whatever you're decorating like i did with me notebook basically it's like after i did this one i got a bit stuck on what to do so i just googled the thingy and that one i copied basically just mimicked it basically so yeah that's what i do for that don't worry if it's not perfect there can be a bit of gaps you can get away with having some gaps. I was trying to think what to... Because I've only literally just recorded my um what do you call it video my 100 subs and i don't have a a ladybird to do this week because i have run out oh, i'm waiting for four to arrive four yeah four Four, three or four to arrive from AliExpress, basically. And two of them I ordered about a week before the Chinese New Year, but obviously they must have broke up by the time I ordered it. 
so they haven't shipped them to yet so i'm waiting for them to ship them to another one has taken over it should have been here a few days ago by the you know they give you like a time scale on that but it hadn't arrived yet so i don't have a ladybird to do this week and obviously i'd like to try and get two videos done a week um so i'm releasing two videos a week to you guys but obviously now i'm waiting on some of my ladybirds to arrive i'm kind of like stuck So I've thought, right, what else can I do? Something, decorate something, do something. So then I'm still doing two videos a week, week basically. So obviously I did, I've got some other videos waiting for me to upload, like my diamond tanning tools and other bits and pieces. Maybe I should do like a, well, I won't call it a haul because I don't literally have a haul. I, I'm i not someone who, it's great if you've got a haul, if you've got hundreds, absolutely fantastic. But me, me personally, I don't. So I tend to normally, perfect, I tend to normally only go for bigger ones. I don't normally get smaller ones. So yeah, that's just that's just my personal preference. I see people ordering all the time, like a hundred from fan sales, and I'm not one for ordering smaller ones really, unless I'm doing like a mystery diamond paint or something else like that. But yeah. Also, keep so I've used this now. Keep this. They come in handy. Oh, over here. Yeah, keep your roll, your empty rolls. They come in handy because when I seal them, I put them on top and all the glue can drip off and not like get stuck to the actual thing. So yeah, keep your empty rolls. So yeah, let's go on to time lapse and we'll get cracking with this. Right, so ignore the background, I know, so you can basically tell what it is, but I'm halfway through, well, not halfway through, I'm about, what, an eighth? Through doing a custom for a friend, so I'm a bit, I just thought I'd quickly get this video filmed today, and then I can carry on with it tomorrow. But yeah, so, we've covered our tin in... Ignore the rustling, my husband's decided to open a bag of what's it? And not even bothered to ask if I want any. How rude. No so yeah. Um <laughs> so ignore the Would you like a watch it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd love a what's it, thank you. So yeah, I, um so if you hear rustling that's what it is i've moved into the living room where it's more comfortable than sitting at my table but yeah any creases just smooth them out they easily smooth out so don't affect it at all and then um yeah so i i when i do mine like these i use separate trays because it just obviously i'm using the same colors constantly so it just say to me swap in swap in swap in all the time so yeah these are the colors i'm going for not the brightest the colors but i wanted something a bit more low-key so yeah and what i what i personally do is the crease at the back here 
I make good use of that, basically. Yeah, the, the crease in the actual tin. I'll try to make good use of that. So then we can get our drills all nicely lined up. So I'm going to do, I'll start at the top and the bottom. And what I do, I do part of the top first and then I do part of the bottom or vice versa. And then I can easily mimic, I'd easily just copy it straight away the other side. And that's still my plan for this one. I think the top, I might just, I haven't decided, I might just do like round with like a nice sparkly drill. And then maybe like do a, a pore print on top. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I'll, I'll do something on the top, but I'm not gonna cover the whole thing. I want it quite easy to be able to pull it off without pulling the drills off and everything. So that's the plan for that. So what I'm going to do, we will skip to time lapse. And my husband, when I just finally decided to finish, he's now fully finishing his what's it. So I finished. Ah, he's finished them. You ain't eating them all. No. Oh, as I say, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my husband does get ripped from me, but he knows I love him. Right, let's see what's the time lap. Oh, he's eating biscuits now, people. He's going to ruin his dinner, I tell you. He really is going to ruin his dinner. Yeah. going to ruin your dinner. Oh. But yeah, right, let's skip to time lapse and you guys can see me. <laughs>
frustrating. Um, what do you guys think? I think it look. I actually really like it. I really do. And like I said, I got the cat's faces. I googled um, cross stitch cat uh, patterns. So that's how I got them. And I just literally just copy the pattern and put it on, and then just did the letters myself. And the, the border is just a, like a basic cross stitch pattern border. It does go a bit funny at the back and you can still slightly see through all the um, pattern underneath. But what you could do, if you've really got the time, you could quickly sand it down, get rid of all that if you wanted to, and maybe just spray paint it one color. This was just a color tin and I just covered it but I personally still think it looks really nice because obviously when you're at a distance you're not going to see all that are you so yeah I think it looks really nice I'm extremely pleased with it and obviously at the top I couldn't obviously do anything at the top of this but that's fine you're not really going to concentrate on that bit are you but yeah I didn't do anything on the top I left it all plain so but what you could do, you can always like do like a paw print or something on the top. No, you've got lots of rounds. So I'm very low on rounds at the moment, so I didn't do nothing with this. But yeah, you could just do like a round pattern on the top or whatever you'd like. So yeah, that's that's my treat tin. I hope you'll like it. And I'm extra I am very pleased with it. I did seal it. I did two coats of half and half water, half PVA. So you did two coats, let it dry. What I do is I always keep my empty ones of these. I think this, yep, yeah, I've always I've used, used that, but I keep that. So then I, if I get orders or I want to do tins, I'll put this on, lay some baking paper down, put that on top. And then what I do, I balance that on. So all the drips, just go straight onto the baking paper and it doesn't stick the tin to the baking paper and it can just drip and dry and yeah so basically that's what I do a nice big thick layer and I just let it drip and it all sorts itself out basically it is a little bit gappy but like I said when it's at a distance you can't you can't see the gaps in it so but it's, 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 hand, it's hand done so but I'm really pleased with it I'm pretty sure when I give it to my neighbour later She's going to love it. And it's still super. I don't even know if it really shines off on the screen as much. There we go. But as you can see, it is a bit gappy in places. But at a distance, you don't see the gaps. I think it looks really nice. But yeah, that is my cat tree tin idea. The thing cost me a whole one pound from Poundland, so here in the UK. So yeah, that I think is really nice, really pretty, and it's another way for you to use some of your spare drills. That is my mission to keep thinking of ways to use these spares because I don't know about you guys. I have a whole ton. Most of them are full basically. But yeah, I've got tons. So yeah. So that's it for this week's video. I want to quickly do a cut shout outs for people. So I did the uh, sum for my last video and uh, for this video I want to give a shout out to CNC Diamond Painting. Uh, she does quite a few different bits and pieces on her channel and Wonders Work Basket. She hasn't been going very long, she hasn't got much on her channel yet but she is getting there and I have enjoyed both their videos, I really have. And yeah, let them go over, check them out, let them know that you come from here, say hello like their videos and if you can subscribe to them because let's, let's support each other in this in our little youtube journey so yeah if you could i'd really appreciate if you don't want to you don't have to you know at the end of the day it's your choice but yeah if you want to i'd really appreciate it go and check them out i'll put their links hopefully i'll remember this time because i've completely forgot when i uploaded my um review of my thingy i completely forgot <laughs> i blame my sleep deprived i couldn't sleep in the morning and i got it from work <laughs> so i was hitting like 30 hours when i put the video live so yeah i blame that okay <laughs> oh dear so yeah check them two out i'll put their description 
they're linked in the comments section and yeah if you want to check them out please do i think they'd really appreciate it and if we could get them a few more subscribers they will love it all right so thank you all for a very <laughs> put your false teeth back in Gemma. right thank you all very much for watching please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video if you haven't already please subscribe and leave me a comment in the well in the comment section <laughs> i slept too long last night leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think of this little idea because i absolutely love it and i think i'm going to do a bigger one for dog treats so yeah that is my next hair brain idea or tape i haven't decided i started this the other day and i was like oh i'm a bit pushed to time because i'm trying to do a commission piece for a friend at the moment and obviously the commission pieces do take priority over everything else so i started and i thought this is going to take too long it will take me away from the commission piece i'm doing that my friends asked me to do and yeah so i've put this on the back burner for now so i can't decide let me ooh, let me know if I, you think i should turn it into a tree tin or a tin for my tape let me know in the comments what you think i've got all this tape so obviously yeah it will all fit so yeah treat tin or tape tin tape tin or treat tin go on. try to turn that 10 times quickly eh? yeah let me know in the comments what you think i should turn that into all right let's get commenting thanks very much for watching guys and i will see you all in the next video bye